Hello, welcome to another One Minute Monday. We're out in the countryside today. We'll look at halving today. So halving is very similar to doubling. So if you haven't seen the doubling video, have a look at that first, um, somewhere in a link. Um, let, let's start off with something really simple. Let's say I want to do half of 40. Well, I know that half of four is two. So therefore, half of 40 is just gonna be 20, because it's just 10 times as big, okay? What about if I was doing something slightly more complicated, like 70? You might find that a little bit harder. But if you think of 70, it's just 60 add 10. Okay, I'm going to break it down like that. And I'm breaking it down like that because I can easily do half of 60. That's just 30. And I can easily do half of 10 because that's just 5. So therefore, half of 70 is 35. Um, moving on, what if you wanted to do something like half of 78? Well, just, just like with the doubling, I would break it down into the tens and the ones. And half of 70, we now know, is 35. Half of eight is four. And then all you've got to do is add those two together. So 35 add four is 39. Therefore, half of 78 is 39. That is really, you just keep doing that. It doesn't matter how big or small your number, well, it doesn't matter how big your number is, you just do that same process. So if I wanted to do something larger, like 537, I would just break that down into the hundreds and the tens ones. So half of 500 is 250, half of 30 is 15, and I'm trying to kind of keep a tally in my head as I go along. So I'm up to 265 now, and then half of seven is three and a half, so I'm gonna add that on so that takes me up to 268 and a half, or 268.5 if you prefer. Uh, that's it. So the, the only really difficult thing is kind of keeping that tally in your head, but you can always just jot, jot it down on a piece of paper. Um, that's it. Keep practicing. If you want to know how to practice, you can just make up random numbers, uh, go through the process, or jotting it down on a piece of paper. You can just check your answer on a calculator afterwards. That is it. I'll see you next week for another One Minute Monday.